I think a lot of people are surprised that we have a chorus of this size in Sacramento sending the message that we do and as talented as we are. But any person that I have said that I'm a member of it and when I post on Facebook, I've had some interesting, because it's Sacramento Gay Men's Chorus. You know, we're inclusive. People always say, but you say it's the Gay Men's Chorus and yet you have women. That's true. We were founded as the Men's Chorus. We grew into the Sacramento Gay Men's Chorus. We keep that as a legacy. Um, to honor those that came before us. I started in the founding year of the Sacramento Men's Chorus. At the time, it was named Sacramento Men's Chorus because we were afraid of calling it gay. In the early 80s, people were not out. It was, I'm a teacher, and so you could be fired. As you know, in the 80s, the AIDS crisis, we sang at probably more uh, vigils and funerals than I would ever care to tell you. We lost many people um, across the chorus uh, during that area from mid-80s to mid-90s. truly is family. We've helped people out when they've been in dire straits. Um, if people have been unemployed or needed help with food or logistics or anything like that, this course rallies around them. When I joined in 1984, it was about finding my gay family because as many who were ostracized by their family for being gay or lesbian, bisexual, transgender, queer, you had chosen family. And I think that many people today join it and see it as an inclusive organization from the standpoint that it becomes chosen family. And we need that in our community. I had come out late in my life and I had been recently married and my family had decided to end our relationship. My wife and I saw the holiday performance, the last one that, and it was so phenomenal and the talent was just incredible. I happened to get a text at that moment of the last family member um, and the choir saying you belong here and it was a moment where I was like I'm gonna get emotional but it was a moment where I was like great now what and then they sang you belong here and I thought oh it's pretty cool so I auditioned <laughs> and here I am. Despite what the mood is in this country right now, politically, regarding gays or drag queens or people who aren't quote unquote what they would call the norm, we are the norm too. Sacramento has embraced us immensely. Since we came back from the pandemic, every single show has been sold out. That's never happened in the almost 40 years history of this chorus. I feel uh, joy uh, when I'm performing because we can see the smiles and the laughter. We just see so many faces looking back at you, just really eager to see what you have to present. I love to perform, I love to sing, and I also love being in a warm and welcoming community. And all of those things keep me coming back every season.